So to start off this tutorial, you will need to set a sudo password. Open console and type passwd and create a memorable password. Next, head to the link in the description and download the emudeck installer. It is very easy to set up, so I will not go over it in this video. Just make sure you install Simu. Now you will need to install Deki Loader for plugins such as Power Tools to optimize your game. I will not be going over how to properly optimize your game. If you need a in-depth tutorial, I highly recommend Cryobyte33's video. Head to the GitHub page link below and click download. Once it installs, drag it into your desktop and run it. Enter your pseudo password that you created earlier and press OK. Select stable release and wait for it to finish installing. Up next is installing the mod loader. Go to the GitHub page, link below and click releases. We need to install Miniconda with a version of Python 3.7. Open the link and download the one shown in the video. Once done, go to your downloads folder. Right click the file you downloaded and click run in console. Press enter. Type Q. Type yes and press enter to finish install. I will close out now since I have already installed. Next, head back to the release tab and download the installer. Drag it to your desktop. Open it and click continue. Now wait for it to finish installing. Now run bcml using the desktop shortcut. Go next. Next. Now you will need to set up a simu directory. Start by opening dolphin and finding your simu directory. I installed emudeck onto my SD card so it will be there. Your installation location might be different, just look around for it. Now that I am in my simu directory, I will copy and paste the location. If you paste it in and you see a green check mark, that means it is correct. Now you will need to copy and paste the location of your base game. Go into the game folder. Content. I'll copy and paste. If all went well, you will see another green check mark. Now for the update directory. Go back to your main CMO folder. Go into MLC01. User. Title. 5E. 9400 content copy paste once again lastly the dlc directory go back to the title folder 5c 9400 content 0010 now copy and paste now select your game language now click save and accept everything Now we are going to install the multiplayer mod itself. Create a directory where you would like to store your app. Personally, I keep all of my games and game maps in a folder called games. For the sake of this tutorial, I will name it games too, but if you're following along, just name it games. Inside games, create a folder called apps. Create another called botwm. Now go to the multiplayer github and download the latest release. Once downloaded, create a new dolphin instance and go to downloads. Open the zip file using arc and drag the files into the botwm folder. Head to steam and in the bottom right click add a non-steam game. Click on browse. Head to the directory where you put botwm. For me, it's in games, apps, botwm, change the file type to all files, and select the multiplayer.exe, add selected programs, find the game in your steam library, right click, properties, 
Compatibility, Force Compatibility, Proton Experimental. Now click play. The app will start generating a compact data folder. Once that is done, an error will come up telling us to install a desktop runtime. Close it for now. Head to the site in the description and download the runtime. Go back into the properties tab and click browse. Go to home folder. Downloads and select Windows Desktop Runtime and click open. Press play once again. An installer should now open up. Click install. Click close. Go back into properties. Browse. Home folder. Games. Apps. BotWM. Multiplayer.exe. Now click play. A multiplayer UI should come up. Type in your name. Your on screen keyboard may spaz out a bit. Now what we need to do is manually edit the multiplayer config to communicate with the Linux BCML. Close game. Open Dolphin. Click home. Open .steam. If you do not see the .steam folder, go to the top right and enable hidden files. Go into .steam. Steam. Steam apps. Compact data. Now look around for your compact data folder for multiplayer. The easiest way to find it is by right clicking and viewing properties and then checking the creation date. If anyone knows of an easier way to find this, please leave a comment. I have found my proper compact data folder. As you can see, it was made recently. Go into the folder. PFX. Drive C. Users. Steam user. App data. Local, multiplayer, multiplayer again, 1.0, and here is the config. Open the config in Kate. Create a new line underneath settings. Paste in the text from the description. You will now need to replace path goes here with the proper BCML config path. Open Dolphin and click home. Go into dot config, BCML. Right click settings.json and paste it into path goes here. Save the file and close. Now open bcml. Install the bnps in the botwm folder. Install Classic first, then the other multiplayer. You can install anything else you want, just make sure you have those two on top like mine. Click Merge. Now you will need to create a link between the merged mods and Simu. Open your Simu directory. Go into Graphic Packs, open another instance and go into .config, bcml, drag and drop the merge folder and click Link. Rename it exactly how I do. Open Simu and right click Breath of the Wild. Enable all the graphic packs selected and copy the settings. Next, you need to install Tailscale. Open the GitHub link down below and click download zip in the top right. Go into your downloads and extract the files out of the zip. Open console and type in these commands. The reason we are disabling red only is because the file is pasted into the slash etc folder. This folder remains untouched during updates so there's no chance of it being wiped.
As you can see, it's now fully installed and running the Telscale script it will show us all the options. Run this command to log in through a QR code or you can scroll up and log in with the link. Once you log in, you can have your friend add you to their Telscale and give you their address. Write down the address and return to gaming mode. Open Breath of the Wild multiplayer and create a new server. Name it whatever you want. Use the IP from Telscale. Use port 5050. As you can see, the server is online and functional. If you would like to add artwork, you can go into the Deki plugin from earlier, download the Steam Grid DB plugin, and change it to custom artwork made by me. If you need any help, join the Discord down below.